What's going on guys? Stefan here with you, s &E's Garage. Today we're going to be talking about push button start vehicles, how easy they have become for people to steal, and ways to prevent your push button start vehicle from being stolen. Now here in New Jersey and in other parts of the country, push button start vehicles have been being stolen a lot more frequently now, specifically Dodge and Chrysler vehicles from what I'm seeing. Um, and if you've watched my channel before, you know that we own a 2015 uh, Jeep Grand Cherokee. And we do not want that to get stolen. We do not want our Camry to get stolen. Uh, so I'm going to go over a couple of tips and tricks for you guys. And I'm going to share a product with you uh, that is basically going to help prevent your push button start vehicle from being stolen. Now our Camry is in the garage 99.9% .9 of the time, so I'm not so worried about this being stolen from the house. But the Mrs. Jeep is always parked out in the, you know, in the front of the house right behind the garage. And uh, one of the things that you should do with your car, especially if it's a push button start, is change your habits with where you leave the keys. Always make a habit of locking the car, um, but you don't want to keep your key fob right by the front door or right in the garage or anywhere that it is in close proximity to the vehicle. Because what a lot of these thieves are doing now is they're using what's called a repeater. And all they have to do is get close enough to your front door or to where your key is. And all that that repeater does is it picks up that signal, amplifies it, and sends it to the car. And they can then use that to unlock your car and start it. Once the car started, they can drive away. Yeah, they might have a little uh, warning on the dash that says the key is not in vehicle. That car is going to stay running until they shut it off. Um, and many times that's, that's more than enough for them to get it to the shipping container where it gets sent overseas and you never see your car again. Now, if you can't avoid keeping your key near the car, for example, if, if you're dead set on setting it on that key hook, uh, right by your garage door or you know your key hook at the front door or the back door where you keep your car um, there are things that you can purchase that will basically block the signal from your key fob from getting to the car they are known as key fob blockers and what we have here is a key fob blocker by Tycon and what this does is it basically it's, it blocks the signal from your key fob from getting to the car. And I'm going to show you how it works. So this is the key fob for this vehicle. There is no trickery here. You'll see it unlocks and locks the vehicle. So there is no trickery, no tomfoolery, nothing going on here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this key fob blocker and it has two pockets. You're going to use the pocket that's got the silver lining in it. And you're going to install your key fob in here. You're going to go ahead and use the Velcro to seal it up. Now I'm going to pry press in the buttons in here. You hear it clicking. It's not doing nothing. You still see the key fob is in here. Again, there is no trickery going on here. You'll see the door will not unlock. This key is right next to the, the, the handle, and it will not unlock. So just to get in the car, I'm going to open this up. Wow, this thing's working really good right now. Hang on. Let me get this key fob out of here so we can get in the car. Okay, key fob's out. Okay, so the car will unlock now we can now get in the car. So what I'm going to do now that the door's open, you'll see the door's open. I'm going to go ahead, put this key fob back in here. Okay, we're going to seal it up. The key fob is in here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get in the car. Here's our key fob right here. I'm going to put it right in my cup holder. This car will not start. And you will see that is because it doesn't think the key is in here. So now let's just go ahead, open this up, and take our key out, like so. This is a little tricky with one hand. 
key is out, you'll see our ignition will now activate. And I could start the car. So let's go ahead again. Again, there's no trickery going on here. Put this key fob back in our Tycon key fob blocker. We're going to try again. Key not detected. So let's go ahead and try this on the Missus 2015 Jeep Grand Cherokee and see if we get the same result. Alright guys, so here we are outside looking at the Missus 2015 Grand Cherokee. You'll see lock, unlock, lock, unlock. Alright, so again, no trickery here. Put your right down and take this fob. We're going to put it in the Tycon key fob blocker. Hitting buttons. Absolutely nothing. Let's go ahead. Come in the car. We are in the car. Key fob's right here. Foot on the brake. Key fob not detected. Alright, so let's now go ahead. Pull the fob out. Here it is. Okay, just like that. Starts right up. So let's see, let's put it back in here. So it's back in. We're gonna open the door, we're gonna close the door. Key fob has left the vehicle, but it's right here. So that just goes to show you that this, this Tycon, see the name right here, key fob blocker works flawlessly in blocking and jamming the signal from your key fob to make it near impossible to steal your car. Now a very good friend of mine has a brand new 2021 or 2022 BMW M3 competition. Beautiful car, white on black. And uh, they were actually on vacation last week and they are the ones that told me about these. They put all of their car keys for that car in this pouch uh, before they went on their vacation and they left the keys in their house. And they actually caught somebody on their ring camera walking up and down their street. And you'll see them in this video. They walk past their car three or four times with a little device in their hand and you can hear audibly you can hear the device beeping and what they were trying to do was pick up this signal for that key to amplify it to the car to get in the car and steal it So these things work. If you want to try as hard as you can to prevent your push button start vehicle from being stolen, this is the way to do it. Now, it's not going to prevent them from coming with a flatbed and picking the car up and leaving. This is more to prevent somebody from getting in your car, starting it, and driving it away. Uh, so I hope this video helps. I hope this answers some of your questions with push button starts. And uh, I'm going to leave a link to these in the video description below. If you purchase from that link, the channel does get a small cut uh, and it helps us grow. We do appreciate that. So please 
Like, share, subscribe. We'll see you next time.